Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Square Enix Play Arts Kai Halo 5 Guardians Spartan Lock. Now, if you guys saw my Master Chief review not that long ago, which, by the way, if you haven't, you should check it out, you know the figure was a pretty solid figure, but given the price hike in the Play Arts Kai figures, it had a lot of... A lot of problems. It left me wanting. And this figure, I have to say, unfortunately, same case. It's technically a pretty solid figure. We do have some pretty serious issues, but it's a pretty solid figure. But given the price point, which is an MSRP of $150, there's a lot of a lot of stuff to talk about. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're here for. So let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands roughly 26 centimeters, which makes him just about, just over 10 inches. Of course, that will vary depending on how you have him posed. And just in case you're curious, let's get Master Chief over here so you can do a size comparison. Master Chief is much bigger. Now, canonically speaking, that should be the case. So that's all right. They do look a little bit weird, though, uh, side by side. So... Be aware of that. Uh, as you saw with Master Chief, we have some very odd proportion issues, and this guy is even worse. His chest is tiny. Very tiny chest, especially given the fact that he's wearing armor. Should be much bulkier. Should come down farther, should stick out farther, should be wider. Basically, in every regard, his armor should be much, much bigger. His head, also very tiny. His head is in proportion to that chest armor. Neither of those are in proportion to the rest of the body. Very problematic. It throws off the look of the figure quite a bit. It, you know, if those two things were fixed, everything else I could overlook, but having that proportion issue just really throws it off. Very, very disappointing. As far as accessories go, we have some interchangeable hands. First of which, you can see the fist hands that are on him in the package. Then we have two trigger finger hands, which are, of course, necessary for a Halo figure. We have those. They are nicely done, nicely sculpted. The plastic, it's pretty stiff, but you should be able to get the guns in his hands, so that's good. And then we have our secondary hands, or our casual hands. We have our pistol, nicely detailed. We do have one weapon peg, same as Master Chief, so that you can put it in his thigh or put the rifle on his back or throw it on the table. And then we get the battle rifle, which is very nicely detailed. Lots of color variation. Looks fantastic, just like the Master Chief's weapons. However, I didn't mention this on Master Chief's. Uh, we don't have the uh, counter, the ammo counter on the back. There's no screen, which is a total bummer, especially, again, given the price point. So uh, that's it for the accessories. Not a ton, but probably enough. And let's look at just the paint and sculpt work of this figure. The head, although it's really tiny, does look pretty good. It's not 100% accurate, but it looks pretty good. I like the way they made the visor kind of look like it's glowing, since his does. Uh, it obviously isn't glowing, so it's not quite accurate, but it looks pretty good. The sculpt generally and paintwork, pretty good. Again, not perfectly accurate. Same thing for the torso. It looks pretty good. You have the Oni logo on there. To me, I'm, I'm pretty sure the Oni logo is not supposed to be that high up, but... It's passable, I guess. We have these blue lines, these tubey things going through his armor, which are supposed to be glowing, and they did a good job of kind of simulating that. So that is okay. Overall, it's a, it's a good paint job. It's a good sculpt job, other than the proportions. Except for the fact that it's $150 MSRP. It should be much better for that price point. I would be perfectly happy paying $80, uh, maybe even $100, but I think this figure should be priced around $80 rather than $150 MSRP. All right, as far as the articulation goes, we have some good things and some bad. The head, double ball peg. The neck, double ball peg. You can move it around pretty well. No real problems there. I'm okay with that. Uh, we have a butterfly joint for the shoulder, so that's a good thing. It's a little ugly. Not the best looking one they've ever done. But it does work, so that's okay. And then we have our ball hinge on top of that butterfly. So you can bring the arm around if you want to. That will help him hold his guns. So that's pretty good. And we have our bicep swivel in the shoulder and in the actual bicep. So that should be okay. I'm not pleased about the shoulder being hollow. His is particularly noticeable. It's very hollow in there and it doesn't look good when you raise his arm. Uh, this should definitely be filled in more uh, like they used to do. I don't know why they keep changing things and going downhill other than to cut costs. We have a single jointed elbow which works pretty well and it's fairly well hidden on this guy. 
So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff good about this guy. It's just not good enough. And we have the same ball hinge for the wrist. For the upper torso, we have a hinge up here and a ball peg. Uh, but the hinge doesn't really provide anything. So you're really just going to be using the ball peg, which works well enough. It's not great. Um, it would definitely work better if the torso was bigger, like it should have been, but it's not. We have a single ball peg for the lower torso, which lets it move around. Doesn't have the best range, but it's probably good enough. Again, lots of good enoughs. We have the floating crotch piece, which is actually really well done. Master Chief had a bit of the diaper effect going on. This guy is, is much better. It, it doesn't have that weird hip thing. If you'll notice, his hips are very close together. His thighs are very close together, which is a good thing. It looks very nice. And the range of motion, it's not great though, which obviously there's a balance you have to find. Master Chief had better range, but uglier uh, styling. This guy has better styling, less range. Uh, it's up to you which you prefer. And then they do come forward, but again, we're gonna have some issues with that floating crotch piece, but it's not, it's not bad. And, and it will give you a little bit of a thigh swivel inside the joint, but then also down here at the thigh armor, there is a swivel in that as well. The double jointed knee works really well as far as looks go. You can see it's not an ugly joint at all, but the way they made it collapse on itself, uh, you have to do the bottom one first. If you do the top joint first, I'll show you. If you do the top joint first, you get no range for the bottom. But if you do the bottom one a little bit and then do the top one, you get pretty good range. So that's okay. And like I said, it is pretty good looking. So I'm pretty happy about that. The ankle, another thing I'm happy about. We have our standard ball hinge, but the way they did it, you get really good range for the ankle. I, I like that. You can rotate it around and get your ankle rocker out of it. And you have a really solid toe hinge. So there are things this figure does a lot better than Master Chief, unfortunately. Um, Locke's design is cool. I don't care for the character personally. Uh, but either way, that's not really relevant. They made the figure decent. That's, that's the way it is. I, I, it's, it's disappointing to me because for the price point, it shouldn't be just decent. And, and that's what it is. And you guys will see in the photos, I'll pose them together a little bit. They don't look like they belong next to each other due to the size difference. And I don't think the size difference was that drastic in game. Uh, I know he should be smaller since he's not a Spartan too, but I don't think it was that noticeable in game and it definitely is in figures. It looks like it's out of scale. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to call it a wrap right there for the review. Stick around for the photos at the end. Make sure if you're new to the channel that you subscribe because I have new videos uploaded every day, sometimes more than one a day. We talk about action figures, video games, movies, TV shows, custom figures, all kinds of stuff. We do unboxings, lots of things for you to watch. So make sure you subscribe, guys. And in the meantime, keep collecting.